Hey y'all, welcome back. It's been a while. I've been pretty busy since I've been moving. This is my first video of 2022. Woohoo! And um, I'm starting off with a pineapple. Well, um, I couldn't figure out what to do and I really wanted to draw something, so I asked my friend and he said pineapple. So that's what I started drawing. So this is the brush that I use for watercolor. You can fill it with water and it keeps a slow and steady flow um, unless I press it to release more water. So um, I put water in the watercolor earlier to activate it and soften it, but right now I'm just spraying it down a little bit to dilute it so that it's easier for me to paint with. I'm gonna start off with the yellow on the pineapple and I'm gonna use both shades, um, ochre and lemon. It's um, pretty thick, so I'm just gonna like dilute it a little more with the water which is on the sides from when I sprayed it down. So I keep um, going in to, towards the center of the painting so that I can increase the shades and dimensions so that it can look like kind of like a real pineapple. It doesn't really because you can clearly tell it's watercolor, but I mean, I think it looks a little better. I'm just doing a little outline here in the ochre so that it's more prominent so that when I draw on top of it to make it look better, um, I'll be able to see it more clearly. So for this painting, I'm using the watercolor as a background which um, I just mentioned, I'll outline with black ink. So right now I'm adding more color to make the painting more detailed. So when I do add the ink, um, it looks like I'm outlining something specific. So it's kind of like an inverse um, coloring book where I'm coloring first and then I'm gonna draw later. So right now I'm adding as many colors as possible, which I think remind me of a pineapple. Later you'll see how it all adds up when I add the ink. I think it looks really pretty when you do it this way. So I'm adding a little green at the top so it looks a little like um, it would, it's merging with the leaves. Uh, right now I'm just using a couple of shades of green, olive and veridian. And I'm diluting it a little bit as you can see right here. I just I press the um, brush a little bit and it releases more water. And I take more water for the paint so it can be pretty light. It is still really dark in comparison. So I'm gonna use the two colors, plus I'm gonna use more water, which is gonna make it look like more than just two colors. And I think it gives more dimension to the leaves, which looks better in the end. At least you can see how the leaf is turning and how the light, light is hitting it in different ways. So I'm just doing a few details on the end and on the inside with the green, because usually the little um, thorns sticking out, it's not really thorns, um, the little, pokey things sticking out of a pineapple are slightly green or when the pineapple gets starts spoiling then it's slightly brown. So you can see at the bottom it's more brown and at the top it's more um, white. I'm adding a little glass on the side with a pineapple margarita. It can really be any drink, I just like the thought of a pineapple, pineapple mar margarita. Not really a fan of this part so I'm just gonna like fast forward through the whole thing. And we're done. So now I'm just gonna start up on the bricks. I really like this part, like quite a bit. I love um, doing bricks, brick detailing on walls. If you've seen like my other videos on TikTok, um, I think it's because it's like symmetrical, but it's also uneven to make it look more rustic. And I think it looks really beautiful. So that's what I tend to do with a lot of my paintings where I have to do a background. Usually with a watercolor painting, you don't really have to do a background, but I thought it would look better because, you know, the glass and the pineapple, just to add it all up together. So my little green and a few more details here and there. And I'm just gonna start up with the pen. So I'm gonna use some black ink. I'm gonna use this gel pen and this um, 003 uh, Micron, or Micron um, pen. And I, I like both of these quite a bit because the black gel pen is kind of thick and it's what you would use on a regular basis. So it's nice to know that it's something that you could just get at any stationery store. And then I really like this one because it's better. So we're doing the glass, I'm just gonna zoom through. Right, and now we're back to the pineapple. So I'm just outlining everything that I did with the ochre earlier when I was painting. So like you can see, I'm literally just outlining it kind of so that you can see everything more clearly. It's kind of like I'm drawing on top of the watercolor and it makes it seem like it's kind of like an inverse coloring book. So I'm just tracing on top to make everything look more defined so you can actually tell what it is, like a random green spot in the middle of a 
a weird triangle thing it doesn't make any sense but then when you add the black ink it kind of adds itself up together and I kind of really like it I love the effect of watercolor when you add ink some little sparkles for carbonation in the drink and now the leaves so I actually lost track of the leaves because of how dark the the green colors were so I'm just going by instinct and I'm drawing a bunch of leaves here and there. They don't really look like pineapple leaves anymore, but yeah. So right now I'm outlining bricks using the 0 0.3 micron. It's on focus one second and focus. Okay, so I'm using the 0 0.3 micron and I'm doing the bricks and it gives it a nice outline. So this part kind of became blurry because my camera. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.